Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the files that you need for um, yeah, like textures, models, stuff like that that uh, could come in handy for not only Imp Creator but making a resource pack as well. Um, now you're going to need to have a archive opening program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'm personally using 7-Zip for this purpose. Um, because, well, I got tired of um, using WinRAR because it kept popping up, uh, oh, buy now, and then I go and buy it, and they're like, oh, we're just going to bundle, give you a disk with bundled software on it. I'm like, thanks, totally. And it still didn't work. So I'm just like, nope, not going to be supporting your cause, that's for sure. Anyhow, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, Windows 10 search, and then you want to type in percent app data. Um, that uh, percent and then you should have a folder that comes up at the top here saying percent app data percent click on that and then you should be in a roaming folder and what you want to do from there is click on the dot minecraft folder now depending on um, if you make profiles uh, with specific file locations uh, this might be a lot more messier than um, what mine looks like for the most part, I keep all my profiles under this section right here, so it's out of the way and it keeps the main folder clean. Um, however, your version should be in this folder somewhere towards the top. Uh, if you click on that, then all the versions of Minecraft you've downloaded will be under this particular folder. Uh, we're going to start with 1.12.2 and then we'll work on 1.14.4. So. The, the concept of extracting the files are exactly the same. It's just there's been a change in 1.14, which um, they've separated some of the files that were in 1.12 in a different folder. So I'll show you what folders you need for both of them. So the first one is 1.12. What you want to do is go and click, right click on it, go to 7-zip, and then open archive. Or if you're using WinRAR, it's going to be something similar. And then what you want to do is um, find the assets folder inside the .jar, and this is right here. Uh, this will contain all the contents listed in this folder. Um, what you want to do is just drag the assets folder into a folder probably best for the same version of um, jar that you're extracting it from. So I'm just going to drag it into 1.12.2 that's on my desktop here and it'll take some time depending on your speed at your computer but uh, if you open this up and go to minecraft and then um, textures and then you have all your block textures here um, i believe armor is under models and then armor and then all your armor textures um, items are under the items folder and it's not just that folder. I mean, there's other uh, usable things as well as like models and stuff too. So some things like uh, generic block can be found here. So this is the JSON format for the display. So you can actually use this code right here for the display properties. I've done a few tutorials on that. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you extract the 1.12 version. So we'll now extract the uh, 1.14 version. So if we go back to versions and go down to 1.14.4 and then open it with 7-zip. And now there's gonna be more folders here. Um, the, one, the two that you're interested in is data. This holds Minecraft and loot tables, recipes, structures, tags, and uh, advancements. So you're going to need that folder, so drag that over to 1.14. And uh, you're also going to need the assets folder, which contains your textures and shadings and stuff like that, as well as block states and models. So you're going to need to drag that over to 1.14 as well. Um, outside of that, uh, that's a breakdown of how to extract the files you need for not only making things in M Crater, but um, things like um, 
resource packs and stuff like that, all those sort of the files that you'll need to get started working on your own resource pack or even making your own mods in MCrater. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.